Okay, good morning. Welcome to Math number 111. Today, we're moving on to the last section in Chapter 16 of Art of Problem Solving's Algebra Book, and it's about operations. Dun, dun, dun. So, sometimes we define things to do with numbers or, or whatever Yeah. in weird ways. So, I'm going to define something called circle plus. x circle plus y is equal to x plus y times y. And I just made this up. This isn't a real operation. But it's important to be able to see things like this and understand what they mean. So, can you tell me what 4 circle plus 5 means? Well, it means 4 plus 5 times 5, which is 9 times 5, which is 45. All right, good job. Okay, good job. So, 4 plus 5 times 5, or 9 times 5, which is 45. Now, let's, let's see if we can understand a little bit more about circle plus. Uh, how about three circle plus four circle plus five? Ooh. Well, this would mean three plus four times four, and then sort of this whole thing is. And then you have to do, well, I'll just leave it at circle plus five right now. Good, good idea. Okay. All right, so now we get seven times four, which is 28. Circle plus five. Okay, so let me write that here. 28 to leave you some room. Circle plus five. So this means, 28 plus 5 times 5, which is 33 times 5, which would be 150 plus 15, which is 165. Good job. Good job. And that's exactly the way to do it. Don't try to do, do all the circle pluses first. Do 3 plus circle plus 4. Like all the operations. Yeah, like and the circle plus plus 5. Okay, now one last question. Does, is it commutative? Does x circle plus y equal y circle plus x? Well, let's just use, let's use 1 and 2 it, to prove this. See if it's true or not true. Okay. Well, let's, 1 is going to be x, 2 is going to be y, right? y is going to be 2, okay. So we have 1 circle plus 2 is 3 times 2, which is 6, and 2 circle plus 1 is 3 times 1, which is 3. Okay. So what do you so conclude? they're not, it doesn't look like they're commutative. Okay, good, good. Not commutative, because those are different. Now, if they were the same, that would not have told you it was commutative. Yeah. But I've just told you in this one example it is. So to do it out in general, we'll say x circle plus y is x squared, uh, sorry, xy plus y squared, right? That's x yeah. circle plus y. And y circle plus x is going to be what? It's going to be yx plus y squared. No, plus x squared. yx plus and x this, squared. Unless x and y are the same, or if they're, they're both... The, if one of them is zero, actually both of them are zero, well, they're the same. Yeah, <laughs> right. So this isn't usually going to be the same, right? Yeah. For xy plus y squared to equal xy, we know multiplication is commutative, right? Mm -hmm. Plus x squared, we can, cancel, we can subtract the xy from both sides. We need y squared equal to x squared, so, or x is plus or minus y. Yeah. Okay. So... They're only the same if that y equals x or y, y equals minus x. Now you can see that from up here. If x equals y, then everything's the same here. And if x equals minus y, then this is zero. So everything's zero. So everything's zero. That's yeah. nice. Okay. All right. Good job. That's operations. Uh, we are going to talk about that uh, a little bit. This was one of our movies we did before talking about it, right? All right. Okay. So we'll talk about it when you get back from the dog walk.